is Leticia. Let's talk about some daily maintenance protocols and just for an overall healthy lifestyle. If you've gone through these cleanses, it's been, you know it's been a lot of work. It's cost you a little bit of money to do the cleanses and it takes some effort to eat healthy and to create a high, a high vibration lifestyle. So some, let's go through some easy tips. There is a daily maintenance um, protocol that you can download and print. It goes over your water intake and check out the water diagram as well to, so that you can know how much water your specific body and body weight um, needs. Um, so let's, so the water, um, thing with, things with water is you don't usually want to drink with your meals because it waters down the natural acid, stomach acid, to help break your food down. So you really should wait and then drink after or drink and drink before. Um, just so that you know, your stomach does growl when you're dehydrated, not just when you're hungry. So if, you're, if your stomach's growling, you're thinking that you're hungry, go take a big drink of water first. Most of us are walking around totally dehydrated. So make sure that you're drinking, drinking, drinking. Um, one thing that I do teach, I don't teach dieting or anything. There's never a diet that you should go on. I teach the cleansing and that's why I have all the cleansing videos and the protocols and I teach fasting. So there is an intermittent fasting. It tells you how you can do it all through the week. And fasting is amazing. There's been so many scientific um, studies done, science studies done that show how healthy fasting is for our bodies. So do, do, do fasting and cleanses and that's it. You don't have to do diets. If you're changing and going through making the switch page and you're going through all these things and switching the bad things out and adding it for some good, there's no reason that you should ever be on a diet because the diets really throw your system way off. It deteriorates your muscle and then you have no muscle to then burn fat. So then when you go off your diet and you start eating regular again, you just put it all back on and even more because now you even have less muscle than you did before to combat that. So I really don't teach dieting. Um, there's just there's three easy steps you basically need to understand. It's getting the good things in, getting the bad things out, and building your immune system. That's the key to health. Perfect, perfect health. So getting thing, good things in, obviously you can talk forever on that, right? About what, what is healthy and what is not. And that's why on that, go check out the Make the Switch page and start working through all of those, making sure that you're not putting the bad stuff in. Because there's some things you just might not know about. So working through that, getting good stuff in. And then step two, getting bad things out. Getting, going through the cleanses. I mean, they say to go through a cleanse every change of the seasons or at least maybe once a year. It just gets your system dejunked so that it's not building up and you're not having problems later on. So getting the bad things out. Fasting and doing these things, even when you're not cleansing, you're taking the good supplements and the maintenance things of um, the alpha CRS, enzymes, probiotics. You're taking these things to help keep your system healthy and make all that work that you've done worthwhile. So you're just taking the ma daily maintenance things that are helping your body stay healthy. And then obviously building your immune system is step three, so that if you do come in contact with something, your frequency is very high, you have a high vibration, you're very alkaline, and you won't come down sick. So building your immune system with the probiotics, with the good vitamin Cs, make sure they're not synthetic, so good vitamin C, um, you can use essential oils, that's what it lists some oils on there like lemon, bergamot, things like that that you can take and you can rub them on the bottom of your feet. Some oils activate different parts of your immune system, so you can use cinnamon leaf, eucalyptus, and frankincense, things like that, and rub them on the bottom of your feet. That can help boost your immune system and help kill off whatever might be there and kind of take a proactive stance in that as well. So. Build your immune system. Step one, right? Good things in. Step two, bad things out. Step three, build that immune system. So if you don't have to be on an antibiotic, don't take the antibiotic. Um, hopefully you haven't got to that point where you are so desperate and it is so bad that you have to get on one, but just to make sure that you have it tested. If it's a bacterial infection, it will help you if you're in a dire need. If it is a viral infection, it's not going to do anything for you. It's really just 
hindering and weakening and killing your immune system, making you suscept more susceptible later on. So, but sometimes circumstances, there's things that we can't avoid. We all get that, right? So if you have to, if you've had to get on one, make sure you're building your system back up with probiotics. Put that good bacteria back in there. Take vitamin C and rebuild your immune system, make that strong. There's herbs and there's things like that that you can help build your immune system. And then making sure you're drinking enough water. So this daily maintenance protocol is just to kind of help you in between your cleanses and to help you as overall for the rest of the year. Um, and help not make your all your hard work go down the drain. So I hope these videos were informative. Um, the protocols, everything is free. It's all there for you. This is all just educational purposes. I am not a doctor or anything. I'm just simply sharing with you how the body works and how you can give it what it needs to heal itself. So thanks for joining us. Thanks guys.